Hello everyone, this is Franchise Kingdom and we are here for Avatar The Last Airbender episode 53 um, Last book, episode 13 um, Yeah I don't know I don't know what to expect that I mean, I do know the name of the title is The Firebender Masters and we finally have Aang beginning his training with Zuko firebending. So that's gonna be cool. In the last episode, we have Zuko, so adorable, trying to convince everyone in the team that he is a good guy now. Uh, he's not gonna uh, shoot lightning in their backs like Azula did. And he can trust, they can trust him, and he could teach Aang firebending that he needs to kick his father ass now I was think sorry I was thinking about so much things that could happen but my biggest the biggest thing that I the biggest question that I want to answer is where is Iro? Cause come on, we need to see him. What he's up to? Um, what is the White Lotus? Uh, come on. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think I have anything more to say. But yeah, I don't. I I don't have. Uh, I just want to go to this episode, so let's... Oh yeah, and this temple was really good. <laughs> Hello, Zuko here. The Firebending Masters. Komodo Lion? These animals, even the animals that don't appear are so good. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Ang. What? I really could it be. Yeah, Ang's like. <laughs> See for what? <laughs> Soka <laughs> Okay. I got I gonna have to say the truth. I would do the same, so like But that's not cool. Ah <laughs> <sighs> Soka. Oh the blind bandits. <laughs> Okay, Katara. 
less. No, Iro is not like that. Soka, Soka, stop, stop. Iro knows the way. If you had learned what to him teach you. Yep. We're gonna see the first time uh tough learn and do earth of many. She did say that she learned from the bad mothers, but we never see her. Wow. And the original uh, water band was the moon. We can see dragons. Okay. Well, yeah, we did not see any dragon. S -s -s Wait, what? Sun wires? Okay. Soka, did you forget what happened in the water bending? North tribe. <laughs> um, that's interesting. Like dragons. Yeah, he don't move in the plot of speed. <laughs> This is not what Zuko usually is. But okay. Okay. This is... Oh, makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Traps. Normal. I mean, yeah, in the first episode also we see that. Um, temples usually, that was so good. That, the, temples usually had 100 or even more century-old traps that work, so... Uh, dragons? Oh! Why? What? I, I mean, yeah, he was... Yeah, he was a different person. Blake. This is stupid. 
you had dragons. You could destroy uh, Bass and Sea with them. Why did you decide to kill them? Ah, oh, stupid. I not think that I would like to see that happen, but. Yeah, I don't think that you have that much time to... <laughs> oh, it's the solstice! Oh? Cheating? 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 Cheating a lot? Oh, huh? look that! Oh, maybe not. Yeah? Gonna work? Work. Poor Zuko. This feel a lot of, I would say, dancing dragon. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. I mean, the b that's supposed to be like uh, the fusion on Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z. Even if, <laughs> of course, you don't care about that. Uh, even if I, I agree with Ank, uh, yeah. But what kind? It's not liquid. You could not, I don't know, use water bending. Earth bending? The, the top of. <sighs> Sometimes. You have air, just oh my gosh, air bending your other. <laughs> Poor Zoko. Yeah, that, that star here looks like... Oh, so the Sun Warriors are alive or something? Or it's just another tribe people? Maybe descendants of the... Uh... What are these animals? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you play a lot this card. Even if I think this time is one good time to play. Different from all the uh, before. I can't agree why they... Okay. Ren and Shaw.
Okay. Of course that would not happen, but Okay. <laughs> of course. I I'm kind of new on to this. That's also really good to show um, Ang and, and talk about B is small and Ang becomes small and Zuko would have problem with exploding things, make fire too big and hurt people. <laughs> yeah, like it's that was really good. Small detail. Mm. Why I feel Zuko will be the at least one of them had to be some kind of problem. No one gonna die, of course, but I mean, yep, yeah, he. He kind of is true, but like, that's a thing. I say later. <laughs> Poor Ink. Um, they're gonna be dragons, right? They're gonna be dragons, for sure. Yeah. Uh. Hang. Let's see. But really, uh, what I was saying about uh, dragons, like, that was really stupid. If you have dragons and you're trying to conquer all the planet, why you kill them before doing that? Like, just for glory and stuff, like, that's stupid. Okay, so both them managed to not get a race. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Ang! <laughs> I was really. Ex <laughs> they are. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, you gonna... Yeah, I knew it. I, I was thinking before that Zuko was, will be the one that gonna... Um, yep, dragons. Okay. A red and a blue, of course. 
mimicking uh, Azula and Iroh. You say that! What's the problem of this guy? I mean, you don't have a better plan, right? I'm probably gonna be like this. Oh, and now Zuko with Red Dragon? Yeah? Oh my gosh. Oh, they stop. Please be good, be good. Okay. Oh, wow, that, that's cute. That was really beautiful. What you understand? Explain to me. Okay, they laugh. Zuko, you gonna explain to me? <laughs> and the guy, damn it! Yeah? Yes? Oh, okay. Yeah. Ira is such a badass. Yeah. Of course. The Sun Warriors. <laughs> hmm. Really good, Zigo. Whoa, see how meaningful that was? Wow, that was even more meaningful. Look at that. You're gonna die to kill? Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I knew this was kidding. Oh, I like the Sun Warriors. It is a dance. Zuko is so adorable. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's the end of the episode. Uh, wow. <laughs> that was the episode uh, Firebending Masters. Damn. <laughs> I don't know what more I have to say about this episode. Uh, wow. 
So we learn of a civilization that was the first one to have fire banning, I guess. That's what they explain, right? And the Fire Nation kind of distorted the way from, you know, violence, destruction, and uh, conquering, and imperialism, and things like that. But fire banning is a source of energy and life. I think I heard that before, but it's probably from Nairo. Um, because, of course, Iro got there first. Um, I was talking when Zuko said that he it, it was maybe because he he turned good and he need rage from firebending and then Sokka joke with him, Katara as well, and uh, oh, and he said, "Oh, I don't, um, I don't want to rely on on rage." Well, should I? Uh, maybe I should go to the, to the place to begin. Uh, and I was thinking, wait, and Iro, Iro do not is enraged all the time. I think I see him one time only. Um, so like <laughs> that brings the question: If Zuko paid more attention, to what Iro been saying all this time? <sighs> But I understand why he did not pay attention. Oh, Iro. <sighs> and impressive how badass Iro can be, even without appearing in the show. So let's begin talking about the existence of dragons. Like, when we see the flashback from uh, Sozing and uh, Roku, we knew that at, at the very least two dragons are alive, Roku and uh, Sozing ones. One red and one blue as well. Uh, coincidence. Um, and now uh, Aang say that he had a lot of dragons at the time when, when he was like at the time before he became a pop school. And makes sense. But then Zuko said that Sozi began to, to hunt for for dragons to honor. Which in a way makes sense in a lot of if you go to a lot of fictional stories that had dragons uh, in some time, you're gonna have some kind of king or something that would... Well, if you, my dear knight, go there and slay the dragon, you will be forever known as a dragon slayer. You want that too, right? But that happened, um, and it's normal. But if you really think about it, we're, we're talking about dragons. Dragons are an allies of the Fire Nation, in, in, at least in theory, because they are both Fire Bandits and, and the Dragons teach in the beginning Fire Bandit for, for the Sun Warriors and then for the Fire Banders, or maybe the Sun Warriors teach the, the Fire Nation. Well, whatever. So they kind of are all allies. You could say that, well, maybe the dragons, maybe the dragons decide that the Fire Nation was doing is evil and stop cooperating with that. That's a possibility. The Sun Warriors decide that too, so, but they decide to just vanish from the planet. The dragons could decide, I don't know, try to attack the Fire Nation. Um, and so they maybe became a paranoid. Or, like, Sozin could become paranoid that the Sun Warriors disappeared and the dragons also disappeared. And they and he could begin to think that maybe they are conspirating against them. And some way they never find the Sun Warriors, but they find 
uh, the dragons, which makes sense. Dragons are easier to spot. <laughs> and the Sun Warriors probably are all in the same place, and dragons were across the planet, maybe. That's really interesting. I can think of some some other possibilities, but in the end, I think unless the dragons decide to stop cooperating with them, I don't see or uh, Susan became paranoid in some kind of way. I don't see this as a good reason to kill the dragons because. At the time, Susan was looking for the next avatar, which would be in the air um, nomads. They, he decided to kill them, which we still don't know how he got there that easily without anyone detecting. Because in the beginning, Ang said it's impossible to go there without flying. Making absolutely sure that the Farnation could not get there. Even if dragons exist at the time, as he said in this episode. So this is kind of plot hole. But the big point is how they get there. And we, we even see, at least in that temple that he got, uh, in the, I mean, not that temple, um, the other temple that ex explode, uh, that anyone can climb that. So... It's not exactly a problem, but the thing is, uh, temples like the, the the ones that we see in the last episode would be really hard for them to reach, but with dragons would be really easy. So we can imagine that they use dragons because then I don't I, I, at least I don't if I don't pay attention and they explain. Uh, sorry, you can. Uh, so in the comment section, but they don't say exactly where, when he Susan did that. So it could be after he exterminated the air nomads. He exterminated the air nomads, and then decided to kill the dragons. Make this a hunt. It's stupid, because the thing is, the air nomads would be the biggest obstacle for the Fire Nation because. The next avatar would be a fire, uh, would be a airbending. That's cool. But the problem is, which one of all the places is the biggest obstacle of the Fire Nation? It's of course Ba Sing Se. Maybe you could say that at the time they did not knew that Ba Sing Se would be that harsh, that hard to get them. Maybe Sozin, because Sozin said multiple times that uh, the Fire Nation would, uh, was the most successful place, the most successful nation in the planet, and that uh, they had so much advance and everything. And he could, I don't know, look to Bass and say, just say, ah, that's just a big wall. I'm gonna throw that down in, in two seconds. And uh, passed uh, 100 years and they did not was able until Azula got struck down. So I still think it was stupid. Like if you want to do, if you really want to do, that, because the thing is, he begins a war. Even if you think that would you be really easy, at, at the very least, make the war seem winnable. And of course, the war was not seen winnable until uh, the beginning of the series, at the very least, or maybe a little before, because we see the state of the South Tribe, and we see the state of multiple times, multiple places in the Earth Kingdom. But at the time of Sozin, probably, uh, I don't know, it was the beginning of. Uh, the wars against the South Alt Water Tribe. They begin to attack the North Water Tribe, and then the North decide to, you're not gonna pass him here anymore until Ang got there and uh, Zhao. And of course, Bastille was not even touched until Iro got there. So like, you know, 
and I can I can imagine that Omash will also stay under Earth Kingdom control, if not all the time, almost all the time. So, you know, that thing's like, you want to kill dragons, okay, at least wait until you burn out the, the major cities, you know? Um, the Sun Warriors got me really vibes of Mesoamerica um, civilizations, you know? Uh, uh, civilizations here on, on America as a whole, I would say Inca, um, um, Maya, Stacker, you know, all that. Um, the building also remind me a lot of that. Um, I never really think on the, arch the architecture of the fire fire sage temple and the fire nation in general but it really reminds me of that maybe because we looked at that and see metal with red and black and would not associate directly immediately with uh, temples of stone but yeah it really reminds me i'm not so good also in the architecture so yeah mm. One more up uh, dragons alive really good at least the two list dragons alive um iroh of course knew the secret all the time which makes me think maybe the white lotus as a whole know that the thing is we don't know we don't know if the white lotus is only fire nation or is it is about um because I have two ideas about White Lotus. One of is they are Fire Nation opposition that don't want war and want to live in peace, just like Iro. Um and the other is like um like uh, Onu the um Onu Onu is English oh no uh, the organization of nations you know uh, and that really could be the case because I remember seeing a pie show tile and um, what was his name um, Ang's teacher on uh, air bending temple you know what I who are talking about um, the master of Ang on air painting. So it may be the case. We we see something like that. Like we see people in Earth Kingdom that has connections or are part of the White Lotus, but we don't know if they are from the Earth Nation. They could just be spies. So if I had to guess, I would say the, la the second option is the more probable because I don't keep saying a lot of times that you need to be uh, grab knowledge from all the nations and things like that and that would make a lot of sense. Also he keeps saying how he uh, learn things from the warbenders that he knows that airbendings are funny or the things like that so yeah uh, i'm really think that the second one is the case i don't think i have m much more to say um katara still don't trust zuko which is reasonable um soka is still kind of joking with them, which is reasonable as well. Uh, and tough stuff. The Sun Warriors were cool. Um, yeah, I don't think I have much to say about. I, I really, I still don't uh, upload the video the last episode, so I don't know if Combustion Man is dead or not. But yeah, I begin to think that it's the case. 
Um, I don't know. I would love to know more. You know what? The best avatars. Uh, of course, we know a, a considerable enough about Roku and uh, Kyoshi, but the last other two, Young Shen, and the one before was I forgot the name of the the waterbender. Well, anyway, um, we don't know much about them. I think the most that I know about them it's from the escape escape from the spirit world or something like that the game um, but it was not nothing like that much impressive that we did not knew or, or or suspect so I, w I would like to know more about them mm. also it has some time that we do not see not only Iro, but Ty Lee and Mei. Especially Ty Lee. Ty Lee is so good character, so happy. I like her. And Mei. Mei, I want to know more. Like, I want to know what kind of reaction she's gonna get. Because kinda she was dumped. Zuko, like, how's she gonna react to that? He kind of broke up with her without even talk to her. She's probably gonna be really mad. Which which makes me think that maybe this is gonna be a really good turn for her because she not usually show emotions outside that time on the beach when she kind of explode a mean explosion there. Um, maybe she's gonna be a really turn for her, and she finally be able to show emotions. Maybe. Um, so that's that. I talked too long, too much again. Uh, I see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to su subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the like and the button, and leave a comment. Let me know what do you think about this episode. And I see you guys. Again, in the next episode. Bye.